guys, I was about to do my corrupted rank up dungeon, but then I realized I actually, well, I'm going to put some Ludum in because it's just a little bit left, only 50. But yeah, Dark Uma is finally to rank 3, and for those of you who don't know, rank 3 is when I stop putting them in the dungeon. Like, I got literally him sitting right here and him sitting right here, and these two that they at rank 3. So I don't need to rank them up anymore. So, yeah. I was starting this corrupted dungeon off by saying, you know, goodbye Dark Uma. He's been in literally all of my corrupted era dungeon videos since the beginning of my channel. And, you know, he's finally at rank 3. That's kind of like the journey, you know, my channel and all with this Dark Uma. So... So now I gotta find someone to replace him, because my team already, my current team, was Waldorf, Blumeria, and Dark Uma, because I already leveled up um, Megalobot, and I'm not gonna look, what is his name, Viatrix, oh my god, I'm so glad I got it. Now, the next person I want to start ranking up, although there's already people I'm working on ranking up after these guys, is Rude Shock. If anyone watches my war videos, which I know there's at least one person who does, like, Rude Shock is just a beast with UA. Like, just at, like, I'm genuinely scared of those teeth because he uses it to eat people. So I want to get him ranked up soon, but I have to have team synergies, so there has to be some sort of protection and regeneration for the team. And so I'm thinking him, right? Is he the only guy who can give protection plus healing to the team? Hmm. I want to do him, but without the ability to heal, he's not too crazy useful. Hmm, but he does solve Blue Maria's problem of not being able to recover stamina. You know, we'll do it. Welcome to the team, Modank. And as soon as I can, I'll start leveling up Ruchaw up in here. But for now, gotta finish my Blue Maria. For those of you who don't know, Blue Maria was like, that, I'm biting my tongue with you, Modank. I really don't have gems to be wasting. Oh, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. That hurt my soul. Well, I gotta do it now. For those of you who don't know, Blue Maria was that one monster I loved a ton and wasn't able to get because if my memory serves me correctly he was a tails monster right and like you know during the corrupted era you know I was good and all you know don't get me wrong I was I was decent you know I had I was a good player in the corrupted era that was where I actually started being a good player but Getting the maze monsters and getting the tails monsters was still out of my league because that requires a like a bit of skill and dedication that I didn't quite have yet, you know. Which now I do. Now when there's a tails monster, I bite my tongue and I spend those gems because these tails monsters lately have been just undeniable. <laughs> like Teddy Bomb, Rarus. Who just got released? Robo Rabbit, Amania, you know some of the most meta monsters I can think of get released in Tails. But yeah, just real powerful. And I'm kind of thinking if I should give Modric, Modrak one team strength room, which the reason behind that would be like, because no, team health room. Because, you know, Corrupted, they're squishy. And even those, I have that, um, I have that move that just gives everyone, um, 
poison at the beginning of the battle. So they do 20% less damage. So it's kind of like we have Tony for 20% more life. You know what I mean? You know, by technicality. The less damage you can do, the more damage I have. That's how I see it. So yeah. But yeah, Modrak, at least his design is sick. Like, he's one of those people, like, you just look at their design, and you're just like, dang. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? Looking at my team right now, bo both Modrak and Waldorf have tons of eyes. Because Waldorf has four, and Modrak has, I don't even know how many, I can't count that. But yeah, Modrak with his potential freeze to all and such. Although, as good as this shield is, I know what you need. Sin Cleanser. If you've seen all those videos I was talking about, Sin Cleanser literally, like, they're stacking four, four dots against you. Boom. Sin Cleanser gets rid of all of them. Now, here's where you earn your stripes, Modrak. I give you what I don't have an obsidian shield what are the obsidian shields that, was that much all right Try to start to give to all allies Ooh, I kind of like that Ooh, okay well I'm disappointed Modrak that you can't have a shield that I didn't craft have Roman Wang Zhao, double Wang Zhao shield on that guy. Wang Zhao. I haven't used Ollie Fnatic in like almost a year. I think I can spare taking away his shield. Hmm. So it looks like I'll have to remember to craft an obsidian shield later, and I'll have to do remember to do my gem dungeon. Lemuria just loves wiping the floor with his opponents. Also, now that I think about it, there's good synergy on this team. Because Waldorf goes first. Waldorf does that move with positive effect block. Then everybody gets mega freezed. Then Modrak can go along and he can freeze everybody again. Which, look at that. Moi, just beautiful. That shield by Modrak. Sorry guys. Hold on, but first. Okay, he couldn't land the light hater. Boom! Literally just brings down the force of the sun onto that guy. That poor fool. And Modrak is. I'm just gonna say, he's, he's a funky looking dragon. And like. Kinda weird to me he even gets to classify himself as a dragon. <sighs> Dang it. You know, I really wish there was some clever way I could have gotten all of them. But alas, even Chia Long couldn't have. And yeah. One thing I remember about Modrak, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I could be so wrong right now, but I remember him being kind of fast. Like, I remember someone mentioning to me that their strategy with him was just to go first and apply the shield. Although I might just be thinking of Elfried. Alright. Can I get a light hater? Nope. Hmm. And then pedal scythe. Hmm. 
Yeah. I was trying to debate because I don't think I have as much time as I did yesterday to make and post videos. And I was like, do I want to follow up on the Metropolitan Dungeon? Or do I want to follow up on the Corrupted Dungeon? Or at least first, because I might still be able to do both. Hold on. Watch me. Watch me get a haver for nature. Nature hater. Da. Dang. Um, I don't really want double damage to kick in. Yeah, because I don't really want to waste um, my UA on these guys. But this is actually really good, because for those of you guys who have been seeing me play, um, I've been doing, once my original team died with the Dark Uma, I would switch to this team, but instead of Blue Maria, it was... It was that that one that one artifact monster, Meltius. And Meltius, he's great and all, but he really defeats the point of having like Modrak on your team because Modrak gives positive effects to everybody. And he was just like, you know what? Keep them for yourself because I'm not gonna accept them. And like having artifact and not being able to have shield made it so that it didn't even matter that he had a health rune on my team. It was just he, like, he couldn't. He couldn't do it. He couldn't make the cut because they kept AoEing and it eventually killed him. Like you're seeing here. <laughs> Alright, that is just the power of Bloom Area. You guys saw that? I know you did. He legit just, just insta swiped them. So boom. Uh, ba -ba. You know what? I feel like because there are always monsters I look at now, and I'm like, they could have been two elements. Her design looks like she would have been light and magic. Although, have any light and magic monsters have been released yet? Because I would say Omnia, because she just feels like a light and magic, but she's light and metal. So yeah, let's see about this one. Josh Dub accuracy. Accurate as always, Josh Dub. Uh, how many of you guys know about Josh Dub's YouTube channel? Because I know I didn't. Because I knew he was a YouTuber. I recognize how popular that is. But, like, I was never one to be following it, you know? Like, I was never an avid watcher of his channel. So when they got the sponsorship, it didn't really, you know, it didn't kick me as hard as it might have some fans. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Uh, things might be getting risky right now. Uh, oh, I'm kind of worried. Alright, remove your evasion. AOE. What I get? Dark and Water Hater. Alright, boom. Double cane sword, 9,000 damage. Ah, uh, magic hater, nature hater. That's what I wanted. 22,000k to all of them. But that's because he had a, um, he had a damage reduction from one of the guys. I forgot which, what his name was. Now, how fast are you all? 13, 13. Jeez. 12. So you all go first. Watch, he's gonna do an AoE. And it's gonna kill. Or, actually, hopefully he does Thaloscar. Do Thaloscar. Do Thaloscar. No, he decided to kill everybody. Dang it. Well, that's where this video ends. Sorry, Modrak. But even when you revive, it was no point. You're facing the Lord. 
So yeah, well, now this is just the many eyes team in the dungeon. So yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll respond. And yeah, that's it. Uh, your favorite Omni Scribe, signing out.